Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Into the octagon to show that we are the best fighters in the world, and he's done that to this point in the UFC. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Hercules! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. hand just missed oh and he lands another knee there dc he talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter in this instance it certainly did punch coming it's locked it's such a fast leg kick Oh, big punch lands. Oh, nice, beautiful collar tie. He's got him in the clinch. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just misses there with the left. Oh, and he caught the kick. What a punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's 
body, get that body. Get oh, collar tie. Let's go. Get that and they separate. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Sound defensively blocks the shot. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Beautiful body control right up the elbow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Ooh, right hand. Oh! All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh! Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Let's get going now. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. 15 seconds. Oh, man, that could be good. knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Five minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off, and my foot would be slippery, wet <laughs> or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. Listen, you got him that round. You really hurt him at the end of that round. He is still going to be hurt. There's no way. Second round underway. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Good punch, Lance. Single collar tie here. Nice. Single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. And he landed the right hand there. Well, that won't feel good in the morning. Big uppercut. Oh, he lands a huge move to the box. What a punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Able to check the high kick. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just missed with the left there. Straight right hand, no good. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Keep your hands 
Back to the jab now, no good. Straight punch lands. He blocks the punch. Got the single collar tie. Big knee there. Oh, wow! Head kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. There, huge block for him. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice head kick. Great punch. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Every time these guys come together, what a fight so far. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness of the ball. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. So he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. And they separate. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. You don't know when that leg keeps coming. Not there. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing 
Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big punch land. to the body. No good, it's blocked. And he comes through with a big knee. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Good punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Wow, what a kick. Quick level change. Oh, he six. went single. Rotate head outside. Just keep going. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your legs able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. That's a big strike right there. Punch his block. Oh! And what a round! All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, you got, it got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the stool. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loot punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. There's no tell on that leg kick. in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Oh, that's a nice strike. Out. 
try to establish that jab. Ooh, head kick lands. Perfect. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Head kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. He's just being more aggressive. And because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. Straight right hand. And there comes the separation now. Oh! He's in trouble. Oh! He's hurt. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Able to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Nice. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. News hurt. Serve him up. Oh! Oh, and just like that, the fight is over. He got him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 25 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.